Hey guys, it's Michael Erdman, and I just wanted to share with you a couple of things. Had a little bit of a, a challenge with the recording on the webinar from the Q&A session last week, and so I was just going to go through and show you a few of the things that we actually covered on that Q&A, and we also have another one coming up uh, that'll be uh, not this coming Friday, but the following Friday, and uh, that'll be at 9 o'clock Pacific and 12 o'clock Eastern. So if you can tune into that with some questions or shoot, shoot some questions for that webinar in um, to support, then we'd be happy to get them answered for you. So anyway, we had a good good turnout on the last uh, the last call. I've also added the uh, the recording of the actual session, which is about 45 minutes long. You can download the MP3. We just don't have the video attached to it. So you can use this as an example of what we talked about. Uh, first thing I want to do is cover the uh, the actual support website. Um, some people don't know about that, but it's at support.mysmartblog.com. So that's what you see right up here at the top support.mysmartblog.com and this is an ever-growing resource where you can get uh, get ideas of things to use our Tuesday tech tips are hosted here our monthly email newsletters and, uh, and information and downloads are here uh, we update it frequently with uh, with questions that people ask so you have a resource to be able to go to and get uh, get questions answered right away 24 hours a day seven days a week so uh, you can actually go uh, right to this website this is what you'll see and I want to go through a couple of different tabs uh, we have for a long time had under this getting started tab show you there's a, a number of videos that are here that are really uh, simple videos that were created uh, actually these are featuring Jesse who's now back as a, our, our handling our pre premium coaching program so if you haven't had a chance to uh, to work with Jesse uh, you'll find out he's great at teaching skills on the internet and very patient and easy to work with as well so people love him but he recorded these videos when we very first were getting started and they're still valid today so uh, simple things like how to set up menus if you want to make changes on those uh, if you wanted to make changes to the header image, I probably wouldn't recommend that for most people unless you're a graphic designer and can create those images, but um, you can always get that done through premium tech support if you want. Uh, also then adding and editing pages. People always ask the question, hey, can I answer or can I add more pages to the website? Hey, you can add unlimited pages, as many as you want to have. And this, sim this simple six-minute video shows you exactly step-by-step -step how to do it. Uh, also editing posts, add adding and editing posts. So another thing we actually publish to your site uh, on a frequent basis, but you can go in and add, edit, or modify content as you like to as well. So that's a really important thing to remember. And uh, then of course, uh, you don't need to get into this, the selecting and configuring plugins as much. I mean, there's stuff that you could learn, but uh, but most of the time when we go through the setup process, the plugins are probably configured the way that you want them. And then if you want some additional configuration, that's probably something you might want some help with. So uh, it does show kind of the overview, and if you're comfortable getting in there and making edits and adjustments, um, it'll show you kind of how to manage plugins. And then there, we have a lot of resources I'll show you in a second, which are links to all the premium plugins that we've bought and installed for your website as well. Um, then of course setting up the home page, it's a little bit different how you use widget areas in the home page, so uh, that's a video that'll show that. So again, that's all right here under this getting started uh, tab right there. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you is uh, we have our FAQ uh, with and, and also monthly updates. So we'll go to the FAQ real quick and uh, you can see there's a whole list of things that have been added on different topics and categories. So you can go down and actually click on this and it'll actually open up for you to give you the details on exactly how you can. So in this case it's how do I log into my smart blog. Uh, you just go to the website and then click on log in at the top right. Um, and you'll get a list, of, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll have a link right to the dashboard of your site. So any of these, there, there are questions, they all open up and give you the answer. So go check that out. If you ever have questions, feel free to check out the different categories of information here. Uh, then uh, also our, our monthly updates are a, are, are a monthly email that we send out, um, or, or mailed newsletter as well, we do, do that as well, that we uh, send out and, um, and then we update the information on the website. So you can go through here and you can get updates of new things that are happening with the company, uh, new additions, uh, updates to the site. We A lot of times we'll feature one of our add-on products or services. And um, so, so you just that's an ongoing, again, updated thing on a monthly basis. Uh, then we have Bring the Blog, frequent, Frequently Asked Questions. So that's for people who already had their own uh, WordPress website and we're just publishing content directly to them. Uh, there's, there's questions that are answered on that service there. And then under the Resources tab, uh, the welcome kit. If you ever wanted to look at the welcome kit again, and then also we have a, a flyer on our mail, uh, the Mailchimp newsletter integration, and uh, those are things that you can you can see details. But if you click actually on the resources tab, it's going to take you to a page, and on this page you actually have a uh, this ref plugin reference directory. We get a lot of times questions about the types of plugins that we've installed in a plugin. Just to to roll that back for everybody, uh, everybody say because a piece of software that's been developed in WordPress to be able to, to have a certain group of functionality. So 
to make the site do different things. So um, for instance, the first one on the list is Easing Slider Pro. And so if we click on that, it's going to actually open up a new window and we're going to go to easingslider.com, which is the developer for that particular plugin. And that's our slideshow plugin, which does all kinds of really cool stuff, including even uh, you can insert video as one of the panes. Uh, you can make them linkable images with calls to action, all kinds of really cool things you can do with this plugin. And uh, you can go right to the, the vendor site and click on the docs section, which will give you a lot of details on exactly how to manage and update that. And also their support uh, for uh, uh, that as well, that you could can, you can uh, get uh, their, to their frequently asked questions pages and such. So on our resources tab, we've started making a list of all of these different plugins that we've already installed in the system for your use. If you don't see it on your dashboard, you usually just have to request that it's activated for your site. But you can go through and check out that. And if you have any specific questions, that's a great place to go and get that. Um, the last thing I'm going to cover real quick because we covered it on the call was the contact us page. And a lot of people wonder how can they make easy, uh, quick updates to the contact page. Well, we built this custom uh, for uh, for our users because that's one of the difficulties with WordPress is actually um, how, to, how to be able to build a contact form. A lot of themes don't even come with a contact form and you have to do it manually. So we actually built a, a plugin ourselves which automatically creates that and you can easily manage. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So we go into the dashboard. Uh, let me grab that real quick. And then uh, on your site, you're going to go down into uh, this settings. And then right in this settings, you'll see this rollout and it'll have this contact us setup. If you just click on that link, it'll actually take you to the, the fields that you would fill out if you wanted to update your contact form. So as an example, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just make an edit here. Uh, I'm going to replace number 102 with test and uh, click update contact info. And uh, then when that happens, I'm going to go back out and visit the site again. And just to go here and go to the contact page. And you'll see that it replaced that number 102 with test right there. So that's as easy as it is to update. You can update all this information. Uh, if, you don't, aren't, if you don't see the social media links on your contact page, that's because there's nothing entered in the actual uh, in the information here. So you have to actually enter your Facebook link, your Twitter link. I'm going to update this one because this is our old one. So if you want to go to our new Facebook page, it's facebook.com forward slash mysmartblog, just like the company name. And uh, so we'll update that one since we're here. Uh, and then I click update contact info. And I'll show you when we go back here, I have to refresh because this is still the old stuff. So we'll refresh that. And uh, go ahead and click the Facebook link and it takes us right to our brand new Facebook page. Uh, that we set up and I've uh, been doing some marketing by the way we've been uh, testing a lot of things we're going to share some of this with you on Facebook marketing uh, strategy webinar coming up and uh, so this has grown in just the, since the middle of December we launched this uh, Facebook page and we've grown it to 723 likes those are all organic likes that we've been able to run in a very inexpensive ad campaign uh, with some real specific targeting and uh, and getting opt-ins as well so we can teach you some of that that we're developing for our own business we'll pass on the knowledge to you as well so anyway uh, that's an idea there and uh, let me go back and actually fix this since we want to make sure it's correct. This should be number B-102. So we'll get that set up there. Update contact info again. And go back here and refresh. And there you go. So uh, you see that that updated the suite number right there. So it's easy, that's as easy as it is to be able to update your contact. It looks exactly like this contact form here. Uh, when you put in your address, it automatically pulls in the Google Map integration, which is pretty cool. And then it also has the place where someone can send a message. And uh, we use reCAPTCHA in order to, uh, to be able to avoid as much contact form spam as possible. So that's on your site just the same. Uh, so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, break real quick. I'm going to come back with another video, but that's just a few items. Just remember to go to the support website. It's a great place to be able to get your questions answered and get them right away, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And uh, we also will be putting consistently putting updates just like this one you're watching right now right here on the support page. Okay, thanks a lot.